you are going into an area that is still suffering. You are going into an area that has been absolutely devastated. Putting it bluntly, when you get off the plane, there's every likelihood the ground may still be shaking and it may shake for the 14 days, 15 days that you folks are over there. It's not going to be five star accommodation and you folks don't expect that. You people are bringing normality back into a very unnormal situation. The people in this team from New South Wales Police have been selected and have volunteered from a range of uh, locations throughout this state. In respect to our tasks, what we will be undertaking is general policing. That will incorporate uh, general patrols, attending domestics to traffic management and give uh, those officers currently uh, on the ground some deserved respite. If there's one thing that Australians do well, it's to be a mate. And you're going over the Tasman to be a mate to a mate. Please, make sure that you look after our friends in New Zealand. Let them know that we are thinking of them here in Australia. You go representing yourself, but not only yourself, the New South Wales Police Force and the uniform that you wear, but you also go representing the hopes, the prayers, the concerns and the worries of a nation understand that. It is pretty devastating of what they've gone through, it's quite upsetting. So I suppose we can go over there and give a helping hand. Yeah, no, I volunteered because I just wanted to help out. I saw what was going on over there and figured if, if we can help, why not go over there and lend a hand? Apart from being a New Zealander myself, um, it pretty much hit home. So to have an opportunity to go and help my own people as well as the New South Wales Police Force, it's, 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 it's just a big honour. I've just been here to greet 12 police that have returned from the New Zealand earthquake uh, in Christchurch. Uh, they're part of the disaster victim identification team, commonly known as the DVI team. And uh, they've been over there for 12 days, uh, working very hard, actually doing a very uh, difficult but necessary job in identifying the deceased persons from the New Zealand quake. This is a very arduous task, but very necessary as far as the dignity needed so that the families can actually identify their loved ones and start the grieving process. And of course then that goes on to the rebuild of Christchurch. Their purpose was to actually uh, assist the New Zealand police in this task. And we're able to actually relieve the New Zealand resources over there and give them a break. Uh, the New Zealand resources have now rallied again and finishing off the task, also supported by other Australian police uh, from within the other states of Australia. These are ex extremely experienced officers in this type of work. Some of the officers that have been to the tsunami, they've been to Bali, they're also at the bushfires in Victoria in the past. So these people are actually selected because of their uh, skill sets and their tenacity in this particular uh, role. We often talk, use the word hero, and sometimes out of context, these people are heroes. These people have actually uh, completed a task for more than 12 hours a day that some other people probably couldn't do for 12 minutes a day. These people are actual heroes of the police today. I had the opportunity at the Sydney Police Centre to address you all just under two weeks ago. I don't really think you knew what you were going into from all of the reports that I've received, far worse than what we were seeing on TV. The one message, one really, really clear message that has come through, what an outstanding job all of the Australian police did on the ground. Nothing was too much trouble. And I also know that the day you left here on Friday was a very, very long day. You got off the plane, you got briefed, and you did a night shift over there. Absolutely outstanding. So again, congratulations, and thank you very much for the job that you have done. I spoke to Mr Mitchell every day about the, uh, the uh, environment that you worked in, about how you worked together over there with the other jurisdictions, 
And I'll just say, you all got us really proud. Listening to the words of the senior officers inside the arrivals hall there about how the credit that they've brought upon their service, I think, I think it's a tremendous, it's a salute to them all on what they've, what they've had to endure to actually get to this point. Well, I haven't been in a war, but it did look like a war zone, that's CBD. And also the outer suburbs, it was, devastation is, uh, yeah, it's quite unbelievable. The feedback we received and the thanks we received was very humbling. It was a very rewarding experience. Well, pleasure to have you back, mate. Thank you it's very really, much. really good. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, what a pleasure it is to have you back home. You've been away for a long time. You've been away for about a month, and uh, that's uh, a very big part of your life that you've given up in support of those people, those good people in Christchurch that needed you, your friends in the New Zealand Police Force that so needed your assistance. Um, in giving up such a large part of your life, you've actually made someone's life, I'm sure, over there much, much better. So can I say thank you? When we left you here and you were forming up to go on board the aircraft, I think the parting words I left with you was you were going over there as Australian ambassadors. Not only ambassadors for the New South Wales Police Force, but the nation. I think I told you to go over there and to hold your head high and do all you could to make the lives of those that you're about to engage with better. Um, can I say, from all of the reports I have had, from my own time over there with you, from the emails that I still get to this day from the good residents of Christchurch, um, mission accomplished. So thank you. From a New South Wales police officer to a New South Wales police officer, you're a credit to yourself, you're a credit to the organisation, more importantly, you're a credit to this nation. Well done, and it's great to have you home. But no matter